So, I thought I'd share a segment of some combination um, movements with you. Um, some people like when you combine movements, some people don't. Um, I have many clients who like it, um, especially trying to get a lot done in a short period of time, um, such as a 45 minute session with me. So we sometimes do um, combination movements. So I'll share with you um, three of those. Uh, typically in training sessions, I do two exercises together and then move on to the next. Being this is multifunction and multi-movement exercises, I'll do three um, to share with you what they could be. So first, squatting to a box. I would never instruct someone to press over their head if they have shoulder impingements and or if it, they've never done it before. Um, so if you're used to using weights, have been told that you can, and it's safe for you, doesn't hurt, this may be an exercise for you. Also, I always uh, suggest doing it to a box to keep safe range of motion, also saves your knees a little bit. Um, and if you're not working with a trainer, it's one of the best ways that I can show you to stay safe in a squat. This is gonna be a squat press. So I have the weight actually on my shoulders, supported by my arms. I'm going to stand, press, and down. Press and down. So my biceps are going by my ears, straight arms. You may not have that range of motion. If you don't, that means you may need to do some work on shoulder range of motion. The more motion you have, the stronger you are. We have four more here for me. Three. Last one. Good. So you can do that three sets of 12 um, with the rate, weight that's right for you. That can be five pounds, that can be 10 pounds, depending on where you are at with that, um, as far as in your fitness journey. So the next is going to be a bent over row. If you have lower back issues, um, this will not be for you without guidance. I instruct my clients to have feet hip width apart. Yeah. And bend slightly through the knees. So if their back is sensitive and we have worked, I suggest that they're here. If we have worked a lot, no back issues, the weights are on their knees with a little bit more range of motion. I am in my butt, not in my knees, okay? I'm gonna pull these up to my hips. I ask my clients to literally keep the weights on their thighs. That way you're not pulling from out here, putting pressure on the back that we don't need, okay? And I also don't suggest you bounce through it. It's a nice controlled movement. We are also squeezing our arms together in the back. We're halfway, so I am doing 12. And I'm the worst counter when talking. So if you analyze it, you may find that I'm one off most of the time too. So for luck, I'm gonna do three more. And rest. If you have any lower back issues, I have another segment in which I show you can use a bench for that row or a higher bench to support your body for that row. So if that hurts your lower back, never done it before, the weight might be too heavy, you might be using your back to support you and not your tummy, but there's that. Um, for this, I'm going to put it together with an ab. So for me, I need a mat. 
I don't have a sensitive back, I just have a sensitive toe on. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna roll it up and roll it down. Nice controlled roll, nice control up. Tilt to the side, not my shoulders, not my whole body, just the weight. Come back down. I'm gonna do this for a minute. Roll it up, tilt to the side, and back. When I roll down, the weight is on my chest. So, this is the 15, and that may not be where you're at. I'm working here because I still come up and need to pull away from my chest a little. I would love for me to be able to reach the goal of sitting all the way up with it on my chest or closer to my chest. Being able to engage my abs enough to do that. All right, so this is like a Russian twist in the old days without rotation. I'm fighting the rotation that wants to happen. And sometimes anti-rotation is the best. So if you can't do this because lower back pain hurts and sit-ups aren't for you, you can substitute a good old-fashioned working plank. All right, and that's one minute. So that's my share with you. Three sets or four. You can do standing, bent over rows. <laughs> um, just be sure that you are safe. And such. We're going to do forward, shoulders to add to it. Again, shoulder impingements, this can be lighter weight, depends what works for you. Camera's a little crooked. Again, not professional, thankfully. I wouldn't get paid very much for that. Just my sharing with you to keep busy in quarantine. Summer's still coming. We still want to look great in those tank tops and just at least know we worked a little while in quarantine. So I like to do the forward combination of one, two, three, one, two, three. The goal here is not lifting it to your chin. It's controlling the range of motion and using the forward tummy like you are in plank. So this would be a fourth exercise if you wanted to add to it, right? So we had the squat with the press, the bent over row, and then we had the sit-ups with the weight. So this could be a fourth component if you so choose. So about 21 movements total is what I do with 15 pound weights. The weight is relevant to me, make the weight relevant to you. No matter where you're at in your fitness journey, as long as you are in a journey, the weight is correct. However, if it hurts, the weight is incorrect and maybe one of these motions aren't for you and that's okay. So if you like this video, let me know. If there's something else you'd like to see, leave a comment and let me know. Most of all, please share with somebody you think it would benefit. Thanks for watching and putting up with my non-expertise in video and camera tilt. <laughs> and I hope that you have a fabulous day.